Hello, here's a review of the Halo Mega Bloks UNSC Attack Gauss Hog with Master Chief and the Arbiter. This is a new version of the Warthog build um, with a Gauss cannon on it. We'll get the figures out of the way. Um, and the colours of this vehicle are really nice, really elegant colours. Um, blacks, golds, um, it's a really nice design. It's got the usual articulation with the cannon, um, space for two figures inside. Like most Mega Bloks vehicles, they look great, but they are quite tight fits for the figures. Um, so it does take some fiddling to get them in, especially the, the newer figures with the, uh, the superposable figures with the removable armor. Um, it's, it's another Warthog, but it is a very nice one. They have um, changed the suspension on these from the old way. The, the older ones, the wheels just used to hang down and used to flip-flop about, but these ones have got um, new pieces inside here, these little bits here, um, and it does give a suspension, but it's, so it can go, you can move it around a lot, but the wheels stay in place when you're lifting them and moving it around. So I do kind of miss the floppiness of the other ones. I don't know, I, I quite liked it, but this is definitely an improvement in the suspension and it's a lot more realistic. Um, as with everything Mega Bloks, they really do try to capture realism and they do a great job. Um, so this is definitely a very nice one and it's definitely gonna be on display in my collection. Now onto the figures. First up, we have an all new Master Chief figure um, with the cracked visor based on the look from Halo 5 and the trailers. And he comes with an assault rifle. And the color of this figure is a very, very dark metallic green. Um, and it really is very dark. Um, from the colour, it's kind of comparable to the green ODST in the recent drop pods. Uh, very dark, very metallic, very nice looking. Um, I really do like the colour. Um, it does. It might be a little bit too dark for Master Chief. Um, I don't think Megabox have actually found a definitive colour for Chief yet, because there's been so many variations. Um, but I really do like this colour, it really looks like a great figure. Personally, I just wish that the visor wasn't cracked, um, because I would like to have this guy as a definitive version of Chief. Um, and with the cracks, it kind of makes it specific to that time period. Um, but it is a very nice overall figure, and I'm very happy with it. It's definitely an improvement to the uh, Chief that you got in the helmet sets. And speaking of which, um, here he is to compare. Actually, on camera, he's looking like a very nice green, but in person, I really don't like the shade of green they used for this guy. Um, the new one looks so much nicer. So much more uh, realistic. This is kind of, it's getting to that point, uh, it's that sort of tone that makes it look very toyish again. Um, whereas this, this almost looks like armor. It's very good. Really impressed with this figure. Again, I just wish that the visor was a regular visor. Um, I'm very impressed with this. So. And now on to the Arbiter figure. Um, this is the first superposable Arbiter we've got, um, and again it's based on the design from Halo 5. It's a very nice figure, um, and they've 
captured the design of the armor very well. Personally, I'm not, I'm still not sure on my opinion of the new look for the Arbiter in game. Um, I did like, I did like the classic look a lot. Um, Megablox have done a fantastic job of capturing the design. It's just, I don't know how I feel about it yet. Um, I never like designs when they've just got one arm free and the other arm armored. It just seems impractical somehow. He does come with an energy sword, which I always love getting, so that's great. Um, and he's got some nice crimson painted details um, on his arms, his chest, and on his helmet. Mine's, it's only very slightly, um, the colour has bled a little bit um, down here, no big deal. Um, it still looks really nice. Um, and the plastic is a nice sort of metallic gold. Uh, you can remove the helmet. This is all one piece with the neck spines. And then he's got the regular elite head underneath. Uh, some people are unhappy with the skin colour, and it does seem to be very light for the Arbiter. Um, not sure why they went that way. It does look nice, regardless of realism or not, to the character. Um, it does look nice, the contrast with the lighter colour against the armour and the bodysuit underneath, but yeah, it, it definitely is an issue for some people. Um, he's a very nice figure for what he is. Um, again, yeah, it's just me. I'm just not sure whether I fully like this um, arm, like this version of the Arbiter. Um, it will be very nice to see if they do do a classic figure, maybe in the Heroes line at some point. But for now, this guy is going to be my Arbiter figure. So, overall, I love the Warthog, the Gauss Hog. Uh, really nice version, love the colours. Great figures, great detail. Apart from my own personal quibbles on the design, which is nothing to do with Mega Bloks, um, they've captured the figures really well. Maybe the skin colour might be an issue, the skin tone, um, and I would have preferred an uncracked visor. But the the detail, the colours, so good. Really nice set. Very glad I picked this up. Um, definitely recommend it. Thank you very much for watching this review. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more good stuff coming up very soon.